Texas Agricultural Experiment Station scientists are researching alternative forms of bioenergy. Biomass derived from Texas crops such as hybrid sorghum that stands more than 12 feet tall is making national headlines. Our efforts in this began about uh, four years ago now. Uh, we, we were intrigued by sweet sorghums, which I was intrigued by sweet sorghums and, and the concept of, of producing and accumulating sugar in the stock, much like sugar cane, and, and the potential that that would have in either an energy system or a food system for that matter. For the past 120 years, the Texas Agricultural Experiment Station has been the science and technology organization that has developed innovative solutions to support the food, feed, and fiber industries of Texas. Today, our scientists will be able to build on their research with crop plants, harvest, and storage that they've used throughout this period of time to support the new bioenergy, biofuels industries in Texas. To create tall sorghum, traditional cross-pollination techniques are used among select hybrid sorghum varieties. The reason that we do that is twofold. One, it gives us a more reliable seed production system to produce the seed uh, through commercial companies. And secondly, we use a concept called hybrid vigor, which we capture in that hybridization process because hybrids consistently in most of our hybrid crops, they yield more than the parental lines would. The development of biofuels from biomass crops has big economic advantages for the Lone Star State. That has Experiment Station researchers excited about the new opportunities to make a difference in how biofuel transportation energy is produced in the future. Just like Texas has led the way in developing many innovations in support of the cotton industry, such as new varieties, harvest methods, uh, storage and transport methods, and innovations such as the module builder, which revolutionized the cotton industry in Texas, our scientists are poised to lead the way in developing new technologies in support of bioenergy initiatives throughout the state.